Now let's get to New Jersey, which is under a state of emergency. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge live in Pumpton Plains this morning. Natalie. Good morning, Chris and Mary. Well, we were just checking on some totals, and so where we are, Pompton Plains, as well as Wayne, only picked up about a half inch of rain overnight. Then it cleared, and now we're just beginning to see the lightest flakes. It seems like a bit of a, a wintry mix, but just the lightest flakes, as we mentioned. And we did just see a salt truck pass by here. So if you are waking up right now, you're dealing with clear roads, but it seems like the trucks, the salters, they are preparing because we are starting to get some of those gusts. Vanessa was mentioning, and it seems like we might just be getting a bit of a system coming our way now. Now, Governor Murphy did declare that state of emergency you mentioned for parts of the state. That includes Morris, Passaic, Sussex, as well as Warren. Bergen County also under a winter weather advisory and that state of emergency, which allows Governor Murphy to deploy state resources as necessary. Now, as a result, some New Jersey school districts have announced school closures as well as delays. We're seeing West Milford School District closed, Halliden delayed about two hours, Wayne 90 minutes, Bloomingdale 90 minutes as well, Passaic currently seeing 90 minutes, but we'll keep checking and updating you on that. And make sure that you check your school's website as all of these start times right now are varying. Now, one other thing that we are experiencing here, those wind gusts that Vanessa was mentioning, the winds are just starting to pick up, and so it is starting to feel a little cooler out here. But again, just a couple flakes at the moment. We're live in Pompton Plains, New Jersey. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 for the very latest on this winter storm. Be sure to sign up for the CBS 2 app to get weather alerts sent right to your phone. We also have live radar on our website at cbsnewyork.com.